We find our heroes in the Twilight Strip, where they found a Tapuala warrior. The effort of producing sounds uh, twisted from the Shadow Warrior's already striking face, green skin, scarlet lips, white cheeks, etc., and the dreadful contorted shapes. He gurgled. If, as it is said, people in the land of Chop hardly talk at all these days, because of the Cult Master's decrees, then it is not surprising that this warrior has temporarily lost control of his voice. The Shadow Warrior made further rapid hand movements and gestures at Rashid, and managed to croak out a few words. Murder, it said. Spock, I'll be new year. I've got it. What a fool I am. He's been talking to us fluently all the time. All right, I'll translate for him. He says he is a friend. He is a champion warrior. He says that not all Chupwall is like their dictator, Kadam should, and his beliefs. He will help us. Splendid. This isn't as impossible as I thought it would be. All right, let's split up. We'll go to the Citadel. If and Haroon take butt to the Sea of Stories. To reach the old zone of Kahani, it was necessary to travel south through the Twilight Strip hugging the shoreline of the land of Chup until a dark and silent continent was left behind. The southern polar ocean of Kahani stretched in every direction. Harun and If the Water Genie set off across this route within an hour of their team slip splitting. Their chosen companions was Butt. After several hours of high speed travel through a twilight strip, they found themselves in the southern polar ocean. Here the waters had lost even more of their coloring, and the water tension had dropped even lower. The waters of the ocean were growing thicker by the mile, thicker and colder. Many of the streams of stories were full of dark, slow moving substance that looked like molasses. Whatever is doing this can't be far away. The light was poor now. They traveled towards the pole. And when Harun saw a forest standing up in the ocean, its tall, gross, waving light breeze and the absence of light added mystification. And they were deep inside the heart of the weed jungle when the second catastrophe heard, occurred. Harun heard a faint hissing sound, and an instant later there was something enormous thrown into the direction. Some light looked like a colossal net it had been spun of darkness itself. It fell upon them and held them tight. It's the web of night, said But the Hoopo. A legendary Chapuala weapon. Struggle is useless. The more you fight, the harder grips. Our goose, I regret to inform, is cooked.